paying a bit more attention to weight. This flies so nicely now, this is just gorgeous. Welcome back. Now, um, we're at the field again today. I've made some more subtle changes to this model. See the, uh, see the fin has now got some subfin on it to increase the vertical stabilizer area. And I've chamfered the leading edge of the airfoil just to see if that's going to make any difference. So, put my hat cam on. I think it's time to see what happens. Oh, much, much nicer. Yes, this is flying really well now. Look at that. Whoa, that's, that is actually really good. This plane has become a really good plane. Whoa, needs a little bit of right trim, which I shall endeavor to put in here. Yeah, and probably a bit of down trim, but see up around the stall now, it is far less waffly with our vertical stabilizer area. It really grooves nicely, even when you're flying really slow. And I feel quite confident flying this low, even though my thumbs are terrible today. I put some down in there and it didn't duck. It didn't dive to the ground, woohoo. This is now flying very nicely. I'll just face downwind so I don't get too much wind noise in the camera, hopefully. Look at this. I wouldn't have flown this close to the ground before. Probably do with a little bit of down trim. It's a bit balloony, so let's just one click, two clicks of down trim. This battery's not that charged, so... Oh, look at this! This is grooving! This is flying so nicely now! It could probably do with rudder. It is hanging its tail a bit in the turns, but it is a bank and yank at the moment, so... You're gonna get that, but look at this! This is just a delight! I think anyone could fly this now. Maybe just a little bit of rudder would be handy. It was quite turbulent here with these thermals we've got today. But it's, um, oh yeah, there's no tendency to tuck whatsoever now. This is a nice little plan. Should I publish the plans for this? If people want the plans for this, I'll, I will publish them. It may be not quite sub 250 anymore with the extra foam board that I've added, but I'll check that. And besides, you could get around that by just Paying a bit more attention to weight. This flies so nicely now. This is just gorgeous. Look at it. Oh, it is a delight to fly. So we've turned an outstanding failure into a rather good success, I believe. And I'm only on about third throttle. I'll hold my transmitter up so you can see what the throttle setting is. Maybe half. I don't, oh, yeah, it's about half. It's about half throttle with a 3S pack, so it's certainly not underpowered. It's a, I wonder if I should try some aerobatics. <gasps> Would that be risking too much? I don't know. Well, it does rolls. How's that, eh? It did a roll. This battery's not recharged, so I'm not going to push it too much further today. But, ah, oh, what a delightful little aeroplane! Will it land though? That's the big question, isn't it? Look at that! Have to walk for it though. That's bloody marvellous! I'm so impressed! This little thing just flies really nicely. This is going to be not going to be a hanger queen, this one. This will get out and get some. I might put FPV on it and we'll do some FPV next video. So there you go. Thanks for your following along with us, folks. We've certainly nailed all the problems, I think. And she's a little ripper. And just before I go, I thought we'd better check and see if it has broken the 250 gram mark. So there we got the battery, there's the three cell uh, 1000 milliamp battery and the, we've got the extra foam and stuff on it. Let's put it on the scales and see. 
No, only 233, look at that. So we've still got room for FPV gear. This could still be a sub 250 gram FPV model if you don't want to register or if you want to fly in Canada without having to worry about the rules. Fantastic, so yeah, I will put the FPV gear on it and we'll fly it again tomorrow, next day, when the weather allows. See how we get on. Yeah, so if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, you know what to do. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.